morning, guys. This cutie's about to get his diaper changed. Yeah. Then we're going to pick out some clothes for you to wear. You excited? Are you excited? Because guess what? Today's Monday. We're having a late start to vlogging again. It's like 9.46. Yeah, we were lazy in bed. We took a nap. Remember that? That was a good nap. Oh, you've just gave yourself the hiccups again. It's your second time today. Okay, so you'll have to bear with us for outfit of the day. Ronan has the hiccups, and I think he's tired because he keeps yawning. So, yeah, he's a little bit grumpy. But he is wearing a gray onesie and little striped pants. I don't really know how long the striped pants will make it, but... Oh, you're so sad with your hiccups. Hmm. And his mama is wearing this necklace with this floral. It's actually like a onesie, one piece thing. And then I'm wearing those jeans. But yeah, my onesie's like obviously tucked into my jeans and my jeans are like kind of high-waisted. So rocking the mom look today. Um, it's just practical and I just grabbed it. So I'll probably end up changing later anyways once he spits on me, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go downstairs. I need to oil his head. I need to grab something to eat and just start our day. Mama? <laughs> Say hi. Oh my goodness, Ronan. I left him for five seconds to get some water and he is just outraged. He cannot believe that I stopped looking at him. I thought Mama just talked about smiles. You said you were going to be a happy boy. <laughs> You're such a little faker, huh? <laughs> that is an evil laugh. That is an evil laugh, you little boy. Yeah. He said it was my master plan. I knew you'd come back. And here he is, chewing on his thumb, and occasionally laughing to himself. <laughs> Look at his little feet. Oh, so cute. I have that drool thing, like, tucked under his chin because he's drooling everywhere and I don't have any bibs for him yet. I really need to get like some cute bibs, like just white or something that go with everything. <laughs> what a weirdo. What a little weirdo. He's just so grumpy, but like he's been fed so he can't eat again or he'll upset his stomach. He's pooped already. He's burped already. He keeps yawning, so I'm pretty sure he's tired. And as you all know, pretty much the only way to get him to sleep is to dance. I figured out one other way, which I discovered last night. This is the second way to make him sleepy. You just shake his little bottom for a while. And it's also a good arm exercise because like my forearms and biceps are killing me because your tush is kind of heavy. Well, as you can see, he fell asleep, um, but I didn't swaddle him because there's no blanket down here. And he doesn't usually fall asleep, like, or stay asleep, I mean, very well without a swaddle because he, like, startles himself. Unless he's very, very tired. So I'm hoping that he's very, very tired, but he slept a lot already. He slept six hours last night from, like, 11 to 5, and then we took a nap again from, like, 7.30 to 9 or something like that. So he shouldn't really be that tired, but... I'm going to take advantage of it if I can, if he doesn't wake up, and I'm going to go blow dry my hair because if I wear it in a bun, it will never dry, but if I let it air dry like this, 
then since it's kind of like wavy it just gets frizzy and it's like it just bothers me so yeah fingers crossed that i can get that done by the next time that i record totally milk drunk and he was like still moving his tongue even though he was asleep i wish i could show you look how precious Except for see that little nick on his face. His nails are getting long again, and I need to cut them. But unfortunately, aw, his nail clippers are upstairs, so it's not going to happen right now. He was just hysterically crying when he woke up. I think his tummy hurts. He eats way too much, and then it just makes him so sad. So, yeah. I've been just, like, talking to Linz on Snapchat, and I showed him that light up there. That one. When he looks at that light for some reason, he like calms down and he loves that light. I think it's because, oh, I'll show it to you in a minute. I think it's because it's black and white. Um, obviously he can see it pretty well because it's black and white. But yeah, if you've noticed in any of like my dancing things, he often leans back and is looking into like nothing when he's actually just staring at that ceiling light. So. I'm glad it does something for him, but yeah, um, I wish that he was having a good day, but he's just not, I guess. He's sad, so I'm going to try and make him happier again, maybe by having a little dance party. And then um, I was hoping to finish, I started Orange is a New Black again because I didn't realize that season four is on Netflix again, guys. So I watched the first two episodes. And I'm like addicted, I just want to binge watch it, but it's not very healthy. And it's really nice outside, so I probably shouldn't. And I need to watch Game of Thrones at some point, because that was on last night, and that was supposed to be like an epic episode. So, we'll see. I might just have to watch those at night, because it's kind of a waste of like a good day. Anyways, I'm just going to have a dance party now. This is dedicated to Lynn. It's clear from your vacant expression The lights are not all on upstairs But we are talking king from succession Even you can't be caught unawares I tried to put him down after he fell asleep and he screamed, so I'm just gonna hold him I guess because he's very needy today and if he needs me then that's fine because I love him, but I am going to watch OK Baby because if I'm gonna be stuck in one position I would at least like to like enjoy myself, so I'm gonna watch some vlogs. So I guess I'm just gonna have chit chats with you because I already watched like the new vlogs that people put up and he's still like pretty sleepy, so I don't want to move, but um... <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys, I, uh, you might have seen it on my Snapchat already if you follow my Snapchat, but if not, a spider walked across Ronan's face yesterday and it got me so scared and then really heated up. I was like, how dare that spider touch my child? But yeah, we were sleeping, well he was sleeping, upstairs on my chest and then I was just chilling, just like resting my eyes and he kind of moved around which I thought was weird so I looked down. And I thought like an ant had crawled across his face, which still I freaked out and like got up and put him in the bassinet and like it fell onto the bed. So then I went back to the bed to like find it so I could kill it. And then when it actually came out, I noticed it wasn't an ant. It was a freaking spider and it was not like a daddy long leg or something like less scary. It was like one of those freaking thick legged, gross, black, ugh, spiders. So... Yeah, I smushed the frick out of it. So yeah, that was very disturbing. I don't even like spiders coming near me, let alone my child. It brought out the inner, like, mama bear in me. And that was just a spider, so hopefully no humans try to, like, mess with me and my kid. Because I'll go hard for him. Go hard. I did eat an apple after I laid him down. Yes, I took a risk. And I laid him down, and he is still sleeping. I put him on his stomach, which... 
he hates, but he seems to be okay with right now. There he is, just snoozing away. And if you haven't noticed, I also changed because I was really overheated, so now I'm wearing just a t-shirt and little shorts. Um, this shirt, I got this shirt like ironically from Goodwill one time because I thought it was funny and I wasn't pregnant at all. And now I have a baby, so it's kind of even funnier to me, but you might just find it inappropriate, but this is what it looks like. And I love it. Just thought I would address that since some of you probably would end up seeing it in the video anyways and comment about it. Yes, I'm wearing a weird shirt, but I am going to go use this like rolly thing that my mom has that you crack your back with or like it presses all the knots in your back. So I'm hoping that it works. Um, it usually really, really hurts to do, but it does feel better after, so it's worth a try. You gotta put your hair up for this because otherwise you roll, roll right over it. And you just roll, and when you get to a spot that hurts, you just wait a second. Which is pretty much my whole back. I literally wish I could afford a chiropractor, but more important things to spend money on, like my broken car. Ugh. Did you guys watch a lot of weird TV shows when you were little? Because we had like an antenna on our TV and we could only pick up really weird shows. So we watched like Zaboomafu. Um, what was it? There was a weird one about like a Himalayan cat. And, oh, what is it? It's like, Opanyo, Opanyo, Sakwashawana, Opanyo. That was a theme song. And then there was Dragon Tales. We're like, I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons in the land apart. And it was like, Dragon Land, Dragon Land, let's all go to Dragon Land. Ooh, I don't my back. There was Cyber Chase. Like, Cyber Chase, we're moving, we're beating Hacker at his game. Something, something, I don't know. It was like a math one. We watched a lot of weird shows. Ooh, and stretch. Okay, I'm done with this. But yeah. I miss those TV shows, I'm not gonna lie. Guess who woke up? It's Ronan. <laughs> I need to change his diaper, and then I think I'm gonna take him out on the hammock for a little while, just so the dogs can run around, because it is really sunny out, and the hammock is usually like the only place in the yard that has some good shade, so. So good at holding stuff in his little hands. He's naked because uh, he spit up everywhere, but we were nursing forever. That's why it's three now. <laughs> and I was watching Orange is the New Black and just playing and laughing. Yes, we were. Ronan's feeling pretty guilty because this shirt did not make it. It is time for us to walk downtown to go to the town hall. Actually, city hall is technically a city. Um, yeah, but Ronan was very upset um, when I was trying to get ready because like it stinks when you have a time frame and you really have to get ready because he was crying and I had to just like let him cry and get ready otherwise it would be super late and I don't want it to close and stuff so yeah he was crying and now he's very tired from crying um, and I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna fall asleep on the way there but I'll just show you he looks so sad hi baby we'll go outside now I'm sorry you can't come Bronx, sorry. So yeah, off we go. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, there is a lot of traffic like kind of right near this trail, but I think Ronan is feeling much better when I'm in motion. I literally stopped to take the camera out and he started crying. So apparently he wants me to keep moving. But yeah, I'm sorry that I'm wearing sunglasses. It's just that it was sunny and I can't be bothered to take them off, so. It's a vlogging no-no and I'm just rebelling against the rules. But I want to tell you guys, I just saw a bald eagle a while ago and it reminded me, me and my family, we used to go to California to Lake Shasta for like boating <laughs> and we always cracked up because they would always say like a big selling point was like, oh, you might see a bald eagle 
and they'd have it in all their videos and stuff and like <laughs> we see bald eagles plenty here I think two of them have a nest somewhere not too far from where I live with babies and stuff so yeah I mean it is really cool to see a bald eagle but it just always makes me laugh when I see one now because they make such a big deal out of it over there it's really hard to push this and hold a camera so I'm gonna catch up with you later. I am currently breastfeeding in a Kmart parking lot right now. Um, I did get that paper signed by the notary public, and then I went to like my hometown's bakery and got some ginger snap cookies for me and my mom. But now we're just stopping here because, um, well, he's hungry, so he's screaming in the car, and because I want to try and find those Advent pacifiers I looked for at Target. So yeah, my mom is on the hunt for those right now. It probably shouldn't take that long. And then we have to go to Hannaford to shop for groceries, but it's very hot like in the car, but it's very cold and windy outside, so it's just hard because like I took Ronan out of his car seat and his whole back was sweaty, so I feel bad, but then again, I have the door open to the car now and the wind's coming in and it's like chilly, so what are you going to do? Maine's weather is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Hi. You're a happy boy. Yeah. <gasps> Boo. <laughs> oh, just a happy thing. <gasps> <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> we are home now, and he is sleeping in his little car seat. So I'm just leaving him there for now because you don't wake a sleeping baby. My baby. Ronan took the advent pacifier that we got him and it helped him poop. So he's in a decent mood. He's not like smiling or anything, but he's good. And I think my mom and Stu are eating tempeh and rice and what is that? Like some kind of curry something. Sweet potato coconut curry. Sweet potato potato coconut, coconut curry. <laughs> that was the best. The bigger the better. He's yeah, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Drop him. <laughs> so there's complete and total trust Ooh. there. Woo! <laughs> he loves it. Yep. He does. Oh, look at Where this. Where are you going? He's doing that with his feet. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. He wants to go upside down. You gotta keep a good hold on this baby. Oof. <laughs> Whee! No. Oh well, yeah. You just want to charm. <laughs> Say his name to him. He loves his name. Roman. Roman and Anderson. Yeah. Told you. He says that's me. Roman and Anderson. <laughs> it always sounds like you're saying, ow. <laughs> Told you. No, there's nothing in those boobs. Don't look at him. He's thinking about it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. So I was going to give Ronan a bath, but then I fed him. <laughs> And I usually feed him before I give him a bath because if I don't and he's hungry, then he cries. And if he is happy, then he laughs and it's adorable and just makes me happy. So, fed him and he just passed out. Like, I didn't even feed him for that long, maybe like 10 minutes. So, he is out of it. I was downstairs and I carried him all the way up here and I held him and I closed the window and I turned on the light and just dead asleep. So, I'm actually just going to put him to sleep. 
and then get ready for sleep myself, but I'm really not very tired. I really want to watch Orange is the New Black, but I know that I can always just watch it tomorrow. I can't always sleep, so I'm going to be smart and go to bed soon. But yeah, there was actually no question of the day today, so I thought I would just leave you by saying thank you guys so much for subscribing and following along with us and like liking the videos and commenting. I love when you guys comment and like interact with me. And not only that, but you guys go like above and beyond and actually like email me and like hit me up on Twitter and send me snaps and stuff when you watch my videos or like snaps of your kids. And it just like literally you guys made me smile like five different times today. It's like having a whole bunch of friends. So I'm really lucky, especially that like you guys are really nice and barely anyone ever says anything like offensive or rude in the comments, which is almost unheard of for YouTube I feel. Um, so I'm just, I lucked out, literally. You guys are all like mommies or maybe mommies to be or just the cutest high school girls. Like so many of you had me on Instagram and I was like, dang, <laughs> I wish I was that pretty in high school. You guys are beautiful, so I'm just feeling very grateful I guess tonight. But um, yeah, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed and if not then I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys!